Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when a formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have charged to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work, where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is the force of the character that guides one through life and once developed grows deeply within. Character is achieved and not received. It is a product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality and what we wish to appear to others, to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. Uh, no matter what power and resources may exist in a school community or nation, they are uh, in, ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. Leadership. I want to start off by saying how proud I am of every single member of the National Honor Society. Whether you are a new inductee or a graduating senior, we have all worked so hard to achieve this accomplishment, and I want you to know that you should be very proud of yourselves. Being your president this year has meant so much to me. Thank you for entrusting me to lead our chapter and for going on this journey with me. We have achieved so much this year. The amount of service hours you have recorded is a testament to your commitment to this community. Your character, leadership, and scholarship speak for themselves. You are clear leaders, not just in NHS, but in our entire Hoboken High School community, and the example you set has not gone unnoticed. To our new inductees, do not take this honor lightly. Continue to be a leader at our school and in all areas of your life, and represent the National Honor Society with pride. I know that you will do amazing things in the coming years. To my graduating class, thank you for going on this journey with me. I hope that we will take the lessons we have learned in the National Honor Society with us wherever our next chapter may lead. I am so, so proud to be a member of the class of 2020, and I cannot wait to see all of the amazing places we will go. All of you are showing who the students of Hoboken High School really are. We are leaders who are committed to our community. We are smart, hardworking, caring, and dedicated. And most importantly, we are Red Wings. Congratulations to each and every one of you and good luck. Good afternoon. This is Miss Pick and this is take four. I'm so much better in person than I am recording myself. So hi everyone. Um, I want to start off by congratulating all my new inductees. 35 new inductees is very impressive. And I applaud all of you for your strong academics, as well as your initiative to be involved in this prestigious organization. 
while this looks great on your resume, it is what goes on behind the scenes that really sets all of you apart. To me, the community service is the greatest part of the National Honor Society. You are recognizing that giving back to your community requires time and effort, but the reward for doing so is much greater. I recognize this is not always an easy task and that each and every one of you have worked hard to be here. I am celebrating your choices and sometimes the sacrifices that you have made. I look forward to working with all of you over the next few years. Congratulations. To my seniors, my 16 beautiful seniors that will be leaving the nest. You have all carried the ball for the last few years. I only wish I was looking at your faces to say thank you. Thank you for all you have done to bring our National Honor Society together to once again make this a vibrant and active club at Hoboken High School. I will miss seeing you at all our events, whether it be the community dinner, the family alliance night, and many other things, makers event that Ms. McGreevy runs. You all sign up and you, you visit and work with the community. So thank you for that. Most recently, I was so proud of you for attending the protest and raising your voices in support of social justice. You are brave young ladies and gentlemen. You have honored your commitment to the pillars of the National Honor Society, and I do believe this has laid the groundwork for great things to come as you embark on your secondary or your post-secondary plans. Whether it's college or universities, you need to stay close to your roots of the National Honor Society. As Ralph Emerson once said, the reward of a thing well done is to have done it. Any recognition is just the icing on the cake, not to be expected, but definitely to be enjoyed. I think the National Honor Society and your commitment to the National Honor Society embodies that. Many times you're behind the scenes. You're either studying, working in the community, strong character, building your character, whether it be through um, sporting events, uh, working on teams, working in other clubs and organizations, being kind, kindness campaigns. You're always doing what's right, and I applaud you for that. You should always know that I recognize all your accomplishments. I only wish I was in person with you all so I can send you off with a great big hug and a kiss and a great big thank you. I will miss you all and thank you. Thank you.